All right. Um, well, let's see all the signs. We're gonna be testing out this 3D printed vat I've made. So the bottom two pieces here are at 70% infill. Then the middle piece here is at 50, and the last piece here is at 40. It's about 29 inches long, and the barrel at its biggest diameter is two and a quarter. Um, so my, my lovely cameraman managed to actually break this joint already. Um, but this is where I've kind of predicted, if anything, it was where it was gonna break. Uh, he also had the same, same con uh, feelings. We're gonna use the whiffle ball first, and then we're gonna take the tennis ball next, and then we'll go to an actual baseball. Gonna see if the bat itself holds up to hitting all of them, and then obviously seeing how far they go will also be interesting. <laughs> well, <laughs> the joints did not hold up. That joint held up, at least. One of them did. Nope, nope, it broke. <laughs> Guess gotta go back to the drawing board. Uh, so earlier, the bat obviously broke right away. I went back and reattached it. So before, I just tried to fuse the pieces together with filament. I didn't, uh, so I didn't weld well enough because I don't have a 3D pe pen to penetrate very well. So I went and used just some ge generic super glue this time. After research, I found that PLA and super glue actually work the best. So we're gonna try this again. And we're gonna start off with the wiffle ball. Still got part of the bat. Yeah. I'm gonna try to finish the the rest of it with the rest of the bat. Hold your bat up again. It broke though, instead of breaking at the joints this time. That's improvement because it was breaking at the joints. So apparently 40% at the top is not good enough. And the, be <laughs> the baseball isn't good enough at all <laughs> for any of it. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna look at the results here after the testing on this bat. So this was the first piece to break off the, the head of the bat. Uh, this broke off with the, the wiffle ball be honest i'm assuming that the biggest reason why this broke was because uh the connection here when it printed wasn't wasn't very uh smooth and so therefore it didn't get the the best connection because the rest of the bat withstood the wolf ball just fine and the tennis ball just fine so that would be my assumption super glue is the way to go it didn't break at the joint this time like it did in the past whenever I tried to fuse it together with a soldering iron and filament. Um, then the bat itself held together with the tennis ball and then hitting a baseball was just too much force for it, um, even with my high infill rates. So it snapped uh, into three pieces total with the baseball as this piece was already broken off. And then this piece, it looks like it broke at the joint, but it actually shattered the uh, little square piece that I had inserted in here to hold them together. So that's really where it ended up breaking all together. But conclusion, great wiffle ball bat, not so much for baseball bat and super glue is the way to go to connect PLA.